much of the Laird's liquor. Well, I'll be hanged. George has grown tired of our shenanigans. Who's the grim fella? That's Captain Woods Rogers. Not a man I want seeing my face. We desire a parley with the men who call themselves governors of this island. Charles Vane, Ben Hornigold, and Ed Thatch. Come forth, if you please. Hear about the King's pardon, I reckon. What the hell is Hornigold doing? <sighs> Lily-livered punk! What are you men up to? I am grateful for your geniality, Captain Hornigold. I Don't mistake my decorum for deference, Governor. I'm eager to hear what you have to say. But I'm on my mind otherwise. Very well put. And it's a fairer shake than I expected to see from any pirate. But I promise fair treatment to all who hear me out. Only wait a while longer, Governor Rogers. These rascals will show their true colors in time. Calm, Commodore Chamberlain. I have given Captain Hornigold my word that we will be equitable. Won't do you a look of good. Men like him are a blight on His Majesty's reputation and a peculiar cancer. In the new world. The King wants them eradicated, above all else. Inside, boys. Here, look. Incredible. No cleaner than a dog on a camel. Captain Hornigold, please call your men. Quick, over there. Rackham, Vane. The governor's come calling. Bring Burgess and Cockrum as well. Take this shanty town as if it were your own. Aye, but the king has been particularly ineffective in bringing about this change, hasn't he? He has failed at all attempts until now. Careful how you talk about his majesty, governor. You're here at his pleasure. I have my methods, Commodore, and I expect you to honor them to the letter. A lot of you. Make way for the king's emissaries. Out of the way, you bastards. Go on. Our only aim here is to treat with the masters of this community. All others are encouraged to go about their usual business. Go on, move. Go. Commodore Chamberlain, please see that all merchants, masons, and carpenters are rounded up and brought to me this afternoon. We must see about repairing this fortress. We should be confiscating weapons, Governor. Send these pirates a clear, strong message that the King's emissaries are not to be trifled with. I have no wish to stir up animosity here, Commodore. And though well armed, we are outnumbered by a decent margin. Slow persuasion is our best and most efficient weapon. Twaddle, Governor! We should sink every goddamn ship not flying the King's colors. To do otherwise protects a certain weakness in our bearing. Silence, Commodore! I am the goddamn governor here, serving at the King's pleasure, and I will make the bloody decision. Is that clear, sir? Really? Aye, sir. Your wishes are clear as crystal. Charts, Commodore. We're in position.
Governor Rogers believes he can make men of these monkeys yet. I do not. Return to your post and await my orders. Pirates shall on or before the 5th of September, in the year of our Lord 1718, surrender him or themselves to any one of the principal secretaries of state in Great Britain or Ireland, or to any governor or deputy governor of any of our plantations beyond the seas, every such pirate and pirate so surrendering him or themselves, as aforesaid, shall have our gracious pardon of and for such his or their piracy or piracies. By him or them committed before the 5th of January next ensuing. And we do hereby strictly charge and command all our admirals, captains, and other officers at sea. And all our governors and commanders of any forts, castles, or other places in our plantations and all our officers, civil and military, to seize and take such of the pirates who shall refuse or neglect to surrender themselves accordingly.
raise the alarm! <clears throat> I pray you take the prudent course, gentlemen, and accept the king's pardon as soon as your hearts allow. For until such time, all of you will be confined in Nassau. I am sorry for this. But in lieu of a public trial, this pardon is your best bet. The governor puts it far too brightly, maggots. Take this message home. Accept the king's protection forthwith, or we will raise this town to its foundation and stretch your bloody necks. Peace, Commodore Chamberlain. We are messengers, not executioners. Not yet. Oh, thank you, sir. God save you. Look on this as a stroke of fortune, lads. We should take the King's pardon and salvage what oh, dignity we piss. own. I'll be hanged before I surrender to that bobbin. Check your head, Vane. We had here a rare opportunity, a chance to take something base and shape it into a government made and maintained by men of vision. But in two years, we pissed it away. I won't make that mistake again. It's truth is telling, and you whelps can't handle it. A Jew, you folksal headed fuddlers. See you at the gallows. You'll all be dead, men! Bastards! I need a drink. Times I put up with Horny Gold and his self righteous shite. Verily, you are a man of principle, Captain Horny Gold. A man I believe I can trust with my best ideas. Faith, and we'll survive this, Charles, with our pride intact. Well, that's confidence. You brewed a plan I might get a taste of. Nassau is over, that's plain to see. I say we skip out tonight and regroup at my compound. Fair enough, what's your angle? 
The Brits have brought their supplies ashore, see? If we nick some gunpowder and pine pitch, we can build a fire ship and send it straight at the blockade, blasting it to smithereens. Aye. We'll use Rackham's ship. You're in a capable captain. My conscience is clear. Right. When you get the gunpowder, I'll secure the pine pitch. moment. I have your height. Stop you there. You're done for, you bastard! <sighs> Time to bring you down. I've got a good line on him. Where do you think you're going? Clear shot. Hey, 
Him. Get off his escape. <laughs> Grenade! <laughs> Just have to pull the trigger. Shit! Alarm! Alarm!
idiot. Lads! <laughs> 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 